Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is about how you copy data from GCP Cloud Storage into Azure Data Lake with Data Factory. If you're new to my channel, my name is Riz Ang and I make videos about data engineering and cloud, in particular Microsoft Azure. If you like contents like this, consider subscribing and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, before we start the demo, a couple of prerequisites here. I have an account in Azure, so I have my Azure portal, I have a resource group and also have a data factory. I also have a Google Cloud project that is been set up and I have a storage bucket or GCP Cloud storage uh, bucket created already here and within it, I've got a dummy text file, a CSV file that I'm going to use to copy from into Azure Data Lake. Now, I also, in my Azure, as you may see here, I have, this is my resource group that I'm going to use to demonstrate this operation. I have a data factory and I also have a data lake ready to use. Within it, I'm just going to show you here that I've got Oracle access into it and within the storage explorer, I have created a container called raw and this is where I'm going to drop the file. Okay. So I'm going to assume that you already have some a bit of knowledge about Azure, some, some knowledge about Azure data factory, data lake. If you don't leave a comment below, happy to answer or otherwise you can check my video up here. Back to the GCP cloud storage here where I have my bucket and also a test file CSV here that I'm going to use as a dummy file. The first thing that you want to do is you want to have a service account in GCP to be used as an authentication to, uh, to this bucket and the file. There are a couple of ways to do this. The first one is if you just type in service account, it will take you to service account to the identity access management and admins here you can go there and you can create uh, a new service account there or another easy way to do it is you, within the cloud storage itself you can just go to settings go to interoperability tab here and you've got some details already and you can create click this access keys for service accounts um, you can click a, create a key. You have nothing at the moment, so uh, you have no accounts, no service accounts, so you have to create a new one. All right, so I'm just going to call it test. I'm just going to leave that is. And the minimum role that you want to assign here, if you want to copy across, is viewer. So you have read access. Anything, I think owner and editor is also sufficient. But uh, I just want to keep it control and secure. So I just go with viewer, click continue. And there is this policy out of date. I think it's just going to suggest to reuse the viewer, the new viewer role. I'll just click update. No worries. I click now continue. Now there is an option here to grant users, like an actual user. So I can type you know, someone's name, maybe uh, Jack or something. And it'll actually find a name of user where you can actually assign this service account to that somebody. Okay, but we don't need it. Uh, so we're just done. All right, so now we are given these details, uh, the access key and the secret. Great, we've got what we need. And what we need to do now is go to Azure Data Factory and I'll click manage and link service. I just click new Google. Put in here, I'm just going to name it, which uh, I usually start with LS uh, GCP storage. Leave that blank. And this access key ID comes from here. The secret comes from there. The service URL is correct. 
is actually coming from that one. Uh, Data Factory preload that for you. And you can obviously use keyboard to store these details, but for this demo, I'm not going to cover that. And I just click test connection. Connection successful. Create. Voila, I've got a new link service here. From here, I'm going to create a new data set in my auto pipeline. New data set, and I'm just going to find Google. I've got TX, uh, delimited text, so CSV, so I'll click that one. And then usually I just go with GCP storage uh, CSV. This is just how I normally uh, name uh, my, my data set. It's my naming convention. I just keep it empty at the moment. This video is not about param parameterizing the data set or anything like that. So I'm just going to keep it very basic and static. So from here, I just click browse. There you go. I can see the bucket and I click my CSV file. OK, and from here, I'm just going to create a new pipeline. Do a simple copy. I will choose that data set. Put that as is, and then I will choose my data lake, which is this one. And I'll just use raw, maybe test, test.csv. And I'll just click debug. Just so you know, I have got a container named raw and in my data lake. And I'm just going to drop something in here quickly. There you go, succeeded. And I think when I'm in here, if I click refresh, I've got my CSV file that is sourced from Google Cloud Storage. To close, that's it. My video tutorial today on how you copy data from Google Cloud Storage into Azure Data Lake with Data Factory using service account. Very simple, very basic. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you have questions, leave a comment down below. If you like contents like this, consider subscribe to my channel. You know, always press like to that blue button as well. With that, I'm out.